Joel. Sure thing. Coming right up. How's the case going, by the way, Detective? I've never seen anything like it. It's giving me nightmares. He's a sick freak, this guy. Really sick. A manic individual. Leaving horse heads everywhere, talking to himself, and keeps telling people to subscribe, whatever that means. Wow, he sounds awful. Any leads? None yet. Another, please. Sure thing. I wonder if we'll ever find out who it was. Guess you'll have to subscribe to find out. Welcome back to Hermitcraft, everybody. As you can see, we're stood here in front of our lovely temple we built last time, where today we're going to fill this up with a lovely shrine I want to build, but not yet, as we have a few other things I want to do first. Look, we have more mail. Ooh, another book. Who's it from? Of course, Efo. of course it's from Efo. No one else has mailed me yet, by the way. No one else apart from Efo. What does this say? Hello, Mr. Bean. Inspired by... Mr. Bean? Wait, I'm not Mr. Bean. That's the other guy. Inspired by the recent Efo statues, I've been having fun trying to make other hermits in a similar style. I thought you might like to see yours up on your tree chop hill. Hey, that's where I chop my trees. Feel free to move or modify it or remove it, Efo. Ooh, I'm excited to see this. What has he made? Let's have a look. <gasps> oh my god. Gosh, this is, this is amazing. This is so cute. Wait, let me stand next to it. How's the resemblance? Oh my God, that's so good. Eva, this is amazing. You know what? I might have to move it, like he said, down to here. We could like move our path around a little bit, but have it in front of our base. That is so cool. He's obviously spent a long time looking at me, so obviously he's absolutely nailed that. I'm definitely going to have to move that. In fact, let's let's do that right now. I made a slight alteration to the base of the statue, but then the statue itself is identical. I just duplicated it. Got to buy more stamps because I want to send Epo a message back. As I'm loving these, I think they look so cute. A nice little extra bit to the entrance of our base. And we got space for the path going around. It's still lovely. All right, so I've written, Hi, Efo, the statue is amazing. I've decided to duplicate it and place them in front of my gate and plan to leave them there. I don't have many riches, but here is some honey and berries as a thank you. Thanks again, Joel, aka your fellow. And that there is Katakana for Boat Boy. Put our stamp in and send this off. Now today, we're going to start off by connecting this path down here that we've built up to spawn. Because we're going to be doing something at spawn a little bit later. So I think we might go around the outside of Impulse's wall and then connect it up. Maybe just over here. Now, not only did this take nearly an hour to complete, it also cost me 30 diamonds as I bought 10 stacks of mud from Stress's shop. But we are all linked up now. I decided not to go over there, but instead link it up to what I believe is going to be a path and a bridge to Jevin's house. But it's done. It's a lot of mud. I did do a bit of texturing on this point here and also added in some flowers when we got close to my base because I'm selfish and wanted this part to look nice. But it was taking too long, so I just finished it off. But speaking of linking stuff up, recently the Hermits linked up to do the charity stream to raise some money for gamers out outreach. Unfortunately, I couldn't attend the event in person as I'm off to Japan very soon, so I didn't want to be flying around the world, but Jimmy and Martin managed to fly there, and they came and visited my base on stream, and I had logged in and was joined by these lovely signs saying, hey Joel, it's me, big man Jim, I hate you, your base, what? And you should quit, babe. Big, uh, wait, he didn't write this. Someone's changed this. X next kiss. What's going on? I also have this out here, which I presume is Martin, as I know he speaks a bit of Japanese. And it says, hello, Joel, or konnichiwa. And I think it's Joru? As I'm guessing, there's no direct translation for Joel. But what the heck? Jim wrote something nice here. Whoever did this. Oh, 
I really wanted to join them on the server, but when they came online, it was about half free in the UK, so I was asleep. But we're going to head to spawn today, as I finally want to get selling these glowberries. We built this farm so long ago now, and we haven't used our glowberry bow mill thing yet either. But I was doing some quick math, and I would have to sell the glowberries at a ridiculously high rate if I was to buy the bone mill. So I think... I might have to make a bone mill farm in the future. And I thought the Glowberry shop would fit perfectly next to glow with the flow here. So I went into creative mode and got messing around with shapes and colors to see if I could find something that would go well next to this shop. I logged back in about two hours later and this has appeared. I, I, I'm gonna have to move my shop elsewhere. And I'm really loving this little street section over here with all the shops on it. And you can see I've now bagsied a spot here next to Stress's shop. However, I'm gonna sort of like try and attach it to the side of the shop here. Maybe make like a little underpass underneath. And I've not seen her online in a while, but I'll send her some mail maybe, letting her know what I've done. And if she has any problem with it, she, she can mail me back. But we're gonna need some materials to build this. And while we gather these, I'm gonna tell you about an awkward moment that happened to me today. I was dropping off a parcel somewhere, right? And the lady behind the counter had a very thick accent and I couldn't understand her very well. She said something to me and I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. So she repeated it again and I just said, oh yeah, but I still had no idea what she said until about five minutes later when I was playing back the moment in my head and she'd actually just said, you're going to receive an email confirmation. So what I said wasn't too bad, but I should have really said like, okay, cool or something like that. But no, I said, yeah. And she looked at me weird. So yeah, still thinking about that one uh, six hours later. Keep telling myself, probably never going to see them again, but still, still thinking about it. Anyway, time to build this shop here, and I think I just checked, and I'm not sure Stress has a mailbox yet. I'll double check again, but if not, I'll go leave a sign or a book or something. For this time lapse, though, shall we make it as chill as possible? Ooh, yeah, let's relax for a second. Let's build for a second, guys. Oh, yeah, let's relax. Take it away. <laughs> Wake up, wake up, don't go to sleep. I know it was chill, but don't fall asleep, okay? Gosh, you're gonna fall asleep at least like the video first, all right? But I'm very happy with how this has turned out. I think it looks rather cool. I think it fits perfectly next to the neon shop of Stress Monster here. I've made this little sort of passageway under her sign so we can have more shops down that way in the future. People can branch off. And I've also done an interior. Look at this. We've got some hanging signs. I think I might put the prices on there. We got our globe berries and then upstairs there's no interior but we can put some barrels up here to store excess glowberries in. But I've just checked the post office here and Stress doesn't have mail yet. So let's go leave her a book just to be polite. So I've written, hi Stress, I hope it's okay that I've built my glowberry shop next to your amazing end rod shop, which I'm a big spender at, by the way. Here is a sample, which is definitely not a bribe, but if you want to take it as a bribe, then please do. Not that it's a bribe though. I hope we can bond someday over the fact we both say thanks instead of thanks. Joel. And we're going to pop this in the shulker here and we'll get two stacks of glowberries and put them like so. Always love seeing fan mail. And we'll just leave this outside her base. Oh, and also I've stocked up the glowberry farm here with a decent amount of glowberries for now. And we're charging one diamond for a stack of them. It's officially open. It's been quite a chill episode today and I'm pretty sure I've not actually spoken to anybody else other than myself, as a lot of people aren't online right now as they're away still. So I guess we should just get back to work and not talk to anyone other than myself once again. 
as I think it's time we work on this shrine here. And I've got an idea. Hopefully, it looks okay. This may take a while, so let's time lapse it. But this one won't be very chill because I'm going to be like moving all over the place constantly and getting stressed with armor stands. Two hours later, here we are. But you can see what we're going for hopefully this is a reference to empire season one which i was in where i was a short king of mazalia and lizzie was the ocean queen so i've tried to make her as like this sort of weird ocean creature here and oh my gosh this was so hard and i realized from the time lapse the angle is not the best but here it is two hours of work for this it's so tricky to use these armor stands i kept losing stuff stuff just wasn't going as i wanted but you know what I think it's turned out pretty cool. People say I'm obsessed with Efo or Gem or whatever. I'm obsessed with Lizzie, guys. That's my real obsession. Look at this. Two hours it's spent on this. She is the one true queen. And I tried to make like a sort of diamond tiara. Kind of tricky. But you know what? I think it's turned out okay. In fact, let's see if we can get her reaction. Okay. When you want, turn around and tell me what you think. Is Mary being loud? It's fine. Turn around every now and then I'll give it. <laughs> okay. Do I wait, why is your sensitivity so All right, low? okay, just it's fine, just turn around. Oh why am I holding you like that? Because I'm a little oh, short king. Oh look at my little axolotl tail <laughs> Oh I like the head crown too. I never thought of dead bushes, but they're really a vibe. Do you like? Yeah, I love it. I captured it. your essence. Yeah, is that my butt? No, it's like a dress. It's not my butt cheeks? No, it's not your butt cheeks. Could it be my butt cheeks? Why are they so separated? Do you want them? Rate it on a 10, yeah. 10 out of 10 scale. Um, 10 out of 10. What's next? That's it. Sorry, I've only done what it took me two hours. Yeah, what, what have you been doing for the past five hours? This. This has taken so long. <laughs> it's so fiddly. What do you mean this is it? <laughs> last year, last year, there was 37. Well, it got the Lizzie seal of approval, which is always the seal approval I would like. While I was building that, however, I noticed that this area can get quite dark. So let's see if we can come up with a quick lantern design to plop on the path there. So I'm thinking something kind of simple about this height and with the bamboo trap doors like this, as I just really love that sort of like star effect they do. Although maybe, should we strip this log? Hmm. Yeah, I think we should actually. That looks, that looks good. All right, let's pop these round the place before we move on to our final thing we're going to build today. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, and another pop. There we go, they're all popped round the place as you can see. This place shouldn't have any mobs spawning anymore, which is lovely. And finally today, I want to do some more graffiti. I'm guessing this wall here is off bounds just because of the glow lichen, but these two walls here look like they could do with some graffiti. Last time I did this little mural here, this time I want to go Japanese themed and I'm going to add on some of my favorite Japanese food. Firstly though, have we had any sales? Oh yay! Nearly a stack from Glow Ink Sacks, not bad. Honey, however, I'm pretty sure is not looking good. No. Now, of course, we are going to be building sushi, which is one of my favorite foods, which I'm so looking forward to having in actual Japan. And I said my trip is coming up very shortly. I'm actually going to be setting off five days after this video is posted. And I'm trying to prep at least one video for while I'm away, but I was thinking... What the heck? Did this just randomly start playing? I'm so confused. It's nice, but it's, it's very loud. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm trying to prep at least one video for while I am away. But I am going to be gone for two weeks. And I had the idea of doing a hermit craft like episode in between, like a 0.5, like a 13.5 it'll be maybe. And I thought maybe I could just log into the server, do some like material collecting or mining and answer questions, aka just a a an ask me anything, except with Minecraft in the background. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments and ask me any question you want. It can be like how I joined Hermitcraft. It can be about my 
real life, I don't mind. Obviously, it can't be. What's your credit card number? Okay, we've heard that joke many times. It's not funny anymore. But yeah, I don't do Q&As or anything very often. It's probably been quite a few years since I've done one. So let me know what you think. And if I get a big enough positive response, I will do it. But look at my piece of sushi. That's looking pretty cute. Let's add some bits around the edges that kind of look like spray paint. But there you go. I don't know what roll it is. It might be a... California roll or I don't know. And we could also do this little wall here. I think just some smaller bits. Like when you get those little tiny rolls that have either got a tiny little bit of salmon or maybe like avocado or cucumber in. There we go. That's quite cute. Originally I wanted, you know, to have like little smiley faces on them, but I just couldn't make it work. The wall is just not big enough. I really love that sort of like cute sushi like animation that people have sometimes. But for now I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. The little area near our entrance is really, really coming together. Oh, it's looking good. It's just a shame that the terraforming on this side looks this good, and then this side looks like this still. We'll have to fix that at some point, but that's a very big project. Not sure when we'll get around to doing that. This has been a pretty lonely episode, to be honest. I feel like I feel like last episode I was talking to everyone. This time everyone's either away or not online. Guess I'll talk to my axolotls. How are you guys doing? Making me any blue axolotls? You're not blue. I guess I could pretend to talk to them. Hello, Grian. How are you doing? Hi, Joel. It's me, Grian. Oh, let me make you angry with the permit office. Oh, Grian, you crazy guy. You silly man. Oh, you, you are so bad with that permit office. Sorry, sir. I'm going to have to put you on hold. No. Hello, Scar. Nice train you have here. Why, or thank you, Joel. Why do I sound like Mickey Mouse? Well, it's because I can't do your accent very well, Scar. Oh, ho, ho, that's funny, Joel. Sorry, but I've got to go into super fast build mode. Okay, I hope your voice starts to sound better because it doesn't sound very good at the moment. Hello, Tango. Redstone, Redstone, Redstone. How are you doing, Pearl? Good eye, Joel. How's it going? Wow, what a great Australian accent you have. Oh, cheers, Mike. It's really good or no? Hi, Skiz. How are you doing? I'm really tall. God, I really hope that detective hurries up. God, I really hope that detective hurries up and catch. God, I hope that detective hurry up. God, I hope that detective is very quick and catches. God, I hope that detective. God, I hope that detective hurry up. Hurry. God, I hope that detective hurries up. My Why can I not speak English? God, I hope that detective hurries up. And catches that man with mania. Because it's spreading. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode before it gets a little bit too weird. We have built a lovely, lovely armor stand today. It feels like we haven't done a lot, but we built a brand new shop. Added some graffiti. And this took two hours, okay? Two hours. Let me know if you want that Q&A. And make sure to comment down below with some questions. And I shall see you another time. Good. Bye.